do it like that. My arms are not. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Adore Beauty. You guessed it, the iconic redhead duo is back. My name is Amy, I'm the senior editor here at Adore Beauty. And my name is Chloe and I'm a customer experience advisor here at Adore. And last time Chloe was showing me how to put on yes. fake lashes and it was an absolute time. It's stuck. <laughs> I don't think this is right. But today we are talking all things hot air brushes. <laughs> this one's so epic. They are quite like menacing looking in a way. In this video, we are going to be breaking down yeah. the top four hot air brushes that we stock here at a door. We're going to explain why they're different, um, who they're best suited for, and um, help you to make the best choice for you. But first of all, you might be wondering, what is a hot air brush? A hot airbrush is kind of like if a hairdryer and a round bristled blow drying brush had a baby. The result is this very cool hybrid tool that dries your hair but also gives you that bouncy, smooth, you know, TV commercial swishy blow dry finish that you might try and get when you go to the salon. As you can see by the ones we've got here, Chloe. And here, and they come in a lot of different sizes with different attachments, different price points. But in general, they all do one thing in common, and that is they blow hot air through the bristles of the brush to give you that blow dry finish. My hair is a. It's not thick, but it's not thin as well. I do think that there's. <laughs> it's like, just right. What? It's just damaged. If I don't blow dry my hair, it's like. Like chaos. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, Chloe's hair is a lot longer than mine. You got a lot of hair and it has a bit more texture, partly because of the bleaching and color damage. Whereas <laughs> I, no judgment, no judgment. I mean, I've never dyed my hair, but I have short <laughs> hair and it's virgin hair. So it's never been dyed, which means kind of what I need out of a hair tool is going to be very different to what Chloe needs out of a hair tool. When I do leave the house, I like my hair to look slick. So what I do is I grab the round brush and then get my hair dryer and do this action with it. That takes a lot of skill. I'm it very does. impressed. Thank you. You are a lady Thank of so you. many talents, know, Chloe. But it takes a lot of skill, coordination, but also like your arms just get, like your wrists and your arms yeah. can get sore. But the whole point is to, is to make that process a lot easier with one of these tools. Chloe has the Hot Tools Volumizer and the Silver Bullet. I have the Dyson Air Wrap and the Mermaid volumizing hot brush. So we are gonna take these home, give them a test, give them a whirl, and basically show you how they work. What are the features, what are the pros and cons, and which one's the best for you? Hi guys, I'm back at home and I'm going to be trying out the Silver Bullet Genesis hot airbrush, 32 millimeters. This retails for $99.95 on adorebeauty.com.au. When I first looked at this online, I was a bit hesitant to use it because it does look a bit scary. It just looks sharp and I thought these were going to be more stiff than they are, but they are pretty flexible. My hair is mostly dry now. I just sprayed it with a heat protectant. I'm pretty excited to use it today. I'm going for the effortless blow wave look. I'm going to be going to my local cafe, so I hope they're gonna be like, oh, who's she? It does have two settings. It has a low and a high, which is low. And obviously my cat does not like either of them. Section it out like this. Let's start off with the low setting. So I would say that section is dry already. That was fast. I'm done. Um, I was quite impressed with this one actually. It was easy, super easy to use. I really like how this style came out. It's sleek, it's put together. Yeah, definitely exceeded my expectations. I'm pretty happy. Can't wait to use the Hot Tools next. I thought I might actually do the Dyson on this side and the Mermaid volumizing brush on this side. First cab off the rank is 
the Dyson Airwrap. This is $799. So it's definitely up the expensive end of the scale, but it's not just a hot airbrush. I'm not going to go through the whole Airwrap spiel, but basically it comes with a whole bunch of different attachments. The attachments that we're talking about today uh, this one, which is a round volumizing brush. Ta-da! It also comes with two different flat hot air brush attachments. So with the higher price tag, you are paying for the tech. The heat never goes above 150 degrees. It uses that really powerful air pressure and the motor to actually dry and style the hair. As you can see, my hair is... It's still a little bit damp, but mostly dry because the whole point of a hot air brush is to kind of get that smooth, shiny, bouncy blow wave finish, um, not to do the heavy lifting of your actual blow drying. One thing I like to do when styling with a hot air brush is add a hair oil specifically to the mid lengths and ends. I'm using Mr. Smith, the serum. It is a hair serum and heat protectant in one. Gives you that glossy, beautiful, shiny, swishy finish. So that's our first piece of hair done. And you can see the difference. It has some body, a bit of movement. Another tip you can do is really use it like you would an actual brush. So wrap the hair around, or as you're going down, you can rotate the brush like this to keep it moving down the barrel. So you just change them by clicking this old button on the end and it pops out like that. I would probably use this flatter hot brush attachment to do most of my hair just because it's a bit quicker but then what I would do is go and use the round one to get that nice blow dry wave at the front. I will add I'm always pressing the wrong buttons. Finish off the front with this attachment to get the blow dry finish. That's this side done with the Dyson Airwrap, nice and shiny and glossy. Clearly the Dyson Airwrap is more expensive at $7.99, but it is basically seven styling tools in one. So if you're someone that styles your hair a lot and you like to do a few different looks, you like to do straight, smooth, bouncy blow dry, um, actual barrel curls and waves, all different types of hairstyles, and you do it often, then definitely the Dyson Airwrap is worth the investment. It's also great if you have that thicker, coarser, longer hair because it is just a more powerful tool. Today I'm going to be trying the Volumizer by Hot Tools. Um, this set here comes with a mini brush as well. Not a, it's not mini, okay, it's a smaller brush. This set retails for $189 on a door. The other one with just one attachment is $149. I think I'm going to be using the smaller head, just so I feel like I have a bit more control. And here are the heads side by side. I'm going to brush my hair first, just because I don't want my hair to be stuck on all the bristles. I still managed to get hair all over it. So that was pretty easy. I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning, but my hair was about 70% dry. I quite like it. I was actually really excited to use the volumizer because everyone who I have talked to who has used it loves it. I can see why it's really easy to use and it's pretty powerful. Did you see me try to style my hair? I think this looks super cute. I think with a bit more practice, I'll be able to perfect it, but I'm actually really enjoying this tool. Oh, look, I made a little flick, see? See? I just have to say, I'm completely obsessed with the way you styled my hair. It feels so sleek. It was pretty minimal effort. The ends are nice and shiny, and that really lives up to everyone's hype. I'm so impressed. Mm -hmm. 
Now on the complete opposite end of the bargain to bougie spectrum, we have the new Mermaid Volumizing Hot Brush. It's not the biggest one, so it's not as big as that large head on the Hot Tools Volumizer, but it's also not as thin as the Silver Bullet Genesis or this attachment on the Dyson Airwrap. 89 bucks, so definitely more on the bargain, more affordable side of things. On this one, you have three settings that you can use. There's a Cool Blast, so that's really great for kind of setting your style at the end. I really like how you have this bit on the end because you can then use it for more control to turn the brush over um, and you can do more of a tucked under blow dryer, almost like a Rachel from Friends kind of tucked under style. Oh my goodness, what is that? What is that? That's my hair loss regrowth coming back through. Gorgeous. The hair is definitely hotter to touch when you're using the mermaid and that's because you're using it at a hotter at a hotter temperature. It's not a bad thing, it's just something to note. Okay, that is the finished hot air blow drying. This side was courtesy of the Dyson Air App with a few different attachments. And this side was courtesy of the Mermaid blow drying brush. Both look great. Um, really, it comes down to budget and versatility. I would say one thing to note about this one is that the bristles aren't um, very sturdy. Is that the word I'm looking for? There's a little bit more pulling on the hair because it can get stuck in these. Um, whereas the Dyson attachments are quite rigid, but they have this little fan dangly bit that moves like that. So it can kind of move with the hair. This one, you just need to be careful not to use too much hair as you're going around. But for 89 bucks, can't get, really go wrong. And that is our review of our best-selling hot air brushes. What do you guys reckon? Which one do you think works the best? Which one do you think will suit you? Comment down below. Be like, <laughs> what, what are we doing? This, this is just the outro. No, and then we do that. Could we be yeah. like, is that cute? What about like, and that is, <laughs> you're gonna whack me in the head. <laughs>